Inflation is hitting economies around the world in just one of the effects of the coronavirus pandemic. One of the highest rates in the world is in Argentina, where the annual inflation rate is running at over 50 percent. Low-income sectors are the hardest hit. This soup kitchen in Buenos Aires received some government support to provide snacks and meals for those in the local community, from children to the elderly. They say more and more people are coming for food every day. And in order to offer free meals, they sell bread and pastries to cover costs. We have to try to generate the money to cover all our expenses and keep this going. But as prices go up, people here say it is increasingly difficult to buy the basic goods they need. A bump in September's inflation figures led the centre-left Peronist government to announce a price freeze. It's on more than 1,400 household items until January the 7th, in an attempt to slow the country's inflation rate. Copal, the largest food industry chamber in the country, initially warned this policy would lead to food shortages. But the differences between the private sector and the government have been partially resolved for now. The political wrangling continues in what is Argentina's latest chapter of its ongoing battle with inflation. Argentina stands apart from much of Latin America for its historically high levels of inflation. Inflation stands at 52.5% under a government that has increased social spending to lessen the impact of the pandemic. Yet under the conservative president Mauricio Macri, two years ago inflation hit 53.8%, the highest in nearly 30 years. In Argentina, there is a phenomenon related to inflation, which is that we have bi-monetary economy. Argentines think in dollars. That is a factor that Latin American nations like Brazil don't have. So when the dollar goes up, prices go up. The paradox is that since last year, the exchange rate has not shifted greatly. Ahead of November's midterm elections, the government is working to slow inflation. Initial reports suggest prices have eased this week because of the new measures. But many analysts agree the reasons behind the historically high inflation rate in Argentina will not be solved by a temporary price freeze. Joel Richards for CGTN in Buenos Aires.